Hey, how's it going? So I have had this subject on my mind for a few days, and I guess I was just thinking through it, <laughs> thinking it through, and I was going to just kind of do a WordPress on it, but it just got kind of out of control. Like, <laughs> I don't like to make them too long. I would like to make them as long as I want. I just don't think that in that format, people are going to want to read a long piece. I could be wrong, but that's just the sense that I have. But anyway, <clears throat> I had this insight because I've been um, working through some things that I have to work through <laughs> to sort of uh, move forward in my personal consciousness evolution, I guess you could say. And one thing, one area that I've really been involved in was sort of my temperament and not just trying to understand the triggers, but to actually go to the root of the trigger and kind of start the not excising process there, but kind of like get ahead of a trigger and then the ensuing maybe uh, confusion or disarray from being triggered, like whatever it digs up and gets you all reactive and emotional about or gets me all reactive and emotional about. And... Um, the insight came as something sort of akin to that or a likened to it. It's related to the issues. And it's that uh, sort of um, indifference is what I've been trying to work with. Like, yes, feel the things that are happening that I should be feeling like there's no reason I should disallow any type of emotion. I just have to not let it become baggage to drag me down and, and drown me or like distract me from some other path that's more productive. So <clears throat> I had to charge my light <clears throat> and I was just messing with my tarot cards and <clears throat> I just took what popped out. So first I got the Ace of Pentacles. And <clears throat> as I understand it, this represents the seed of an idea. And that's kind of what I have been working with. Like, I know that I can't be unaffected by all of the things that's happening, that are happening right now. And there's a lot going on that can just be heartbreak inducing and it's really I mean it can be hard to navigate if you are susceptible to emotion <laughs> knocking you off your ass <laughs> um, so I had this idea that I need to find a way to feel what I need to feel and not discount or discard any of that and also not get bogged down in it and all and then at the same time learn um not to care in a way and that sounds terrible and so the alternative word I came up with was indifference <clears throat> and then the next card I pulled was the magician and it seemed to be talking about those things that I have in my hand to work with in my favor. And uh, <clears throat> it's the idea that I was just talking about in a way that I have all these options to work with as far as how to achieve what I want to achieve. Uh, my goal of being able to feel and deal with things more productively. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
And so I don't want to be like whipped around by all of these things that are happening in the world and here in my country in the United States where like, it is absurd. I mean, I am starting to feel like I literally live in a comic book or a game right now because the things that are happening are so horrible on one hand, but on the other hand, it's like, I mean, we are where we are because of, I would say complacency. Complacency has allowed us to get where we are, like with the abortion thing that's happening right now that you know the the right of women to have privacy and the ability to just make their own decisions when it comes to health choices with their body and reproductive choices and we've been through this in fact this is like a weird echo like when I was a kid all of these things were being put in place because I was born in 1963 and so I was sort of aware of things starting at about 65 so between 65 and now I've seen all of these kind of civil rights things be made like law and then I thought and then the whole time there's been this whole right wing sort of part of society that just doesn't want people to make decisions for themselves, I guess. And, uh, whoops. So the next card I pulled or that fell out actually was the lovers. And it's not in this case about any type of like partnership of love of any kind. It's more like to me, that the deal that has to be made is between not just the parties that oppose each other, but the people that do. And that um, we can't eliminate one another and that we have to work compromises and look for long-term solutions instead of all kinds of ways to dissolve to dissolute (laughs) and um, I mean that's like a metaphor for myself to remember you know like it's really easy to get caught up in like all these emotional things that we can get carried away with and uh, we kind of lose the thread of the story and another kind of crazy comic book aspect of this is is that it seems like whatever any of us is saying about like our religious based convictions or uh, higher minded sort of uh social evolutionary structures where we're not going backwards, where some people want to go and there's other people that want to go forward. And that can't exist in a way that anyone prospers from when we're sort of diverging and dividing and not finding ways to meet. And so, you know, But it's what they say rather than what they actually mean, because I guess the right is more honest about it in a way. Like, they're not honest about why they're kind of jerks and don't like people and don't like people to be able to decide things for themselves. Like, it's not my form of belief, so it's kind of hard for me to sort of conceptualize the idea of we're going to all get together and make sure that we all agree that certain people can't think, do, have, be certain things and and that we're right about it. Like, I don't think it's right to take things away from people like that. And I really have a problem with people trying to exert 
control over stuff that's beyond the scope of their own, you know, body <laughs> or uh, life, really, you know, like their own concerns. I always think, what is being neglected at home? You know, what's going on at home that you're not paying attention to while you're spending so much time looking at other people and it will be couched in like a Christian conservatism rightness or white rightness or male white rightness, male white rightness, you know, just some sort of rightness that kind of excludes a bunch of other people. I'm not down for that. I think if there's going to be stuff for anybody, there should be the same stuff for everyone. So, <clears throat> the last card I, well, I didn't really pull it. It just kind of fell out. But the last one I, that I pulled out was the Three of Pentacles. And it, to me here, is representing the, I'm going to call him the Mason that's there on the right, I guess. Is that your right? I don't know. This guy, the mason, the architect, and he's showing this pair of patrons, I guess, or fellow artisans that, like, here is what we can do with the three articles that represent the building supplies. Like, what, what do we have? that we can build upon, that we can build with. And he's saying, like, this is something like what we can do. But, you know, there's always other options. But the point is that there are options. And everyone can contribute to the foundation of what's being built. And to me, that represents for myself being able to process all this stuff and not freak out and remain level and remain steady and not get too emotionally involved uh, in all of the upset that certain decisions are calling, causing and trying to maintain for the sake of myself and everyone that calm state of mind so that once everyone gets over the shock of what's happening, there will be space for them to figure out what's going on as a collective. You know, if there are some of us that will represent, um, the essence of calm to create an uh, atmosphere so that creative options and ideas can then be uh, brought together by willing parties involved to create something that's beneficial for the whole. So I guess I'm saying it does no good for me personally to freak out about all this stuff and I've been endeavoring to find a way to just feel level about it all to be able to yeah be shocked by things and surprised but also to like okay and get right over that because you got to move on because there's just it never stops <laughs> there's just an unending stream of events coming along and I mean if you've made a transition like like in my notes I was talking about going through doors which I've learned represents consciousness like is well there's a I think Carlos Castaneda wrote the book called the doors of consciousness that the band the doors you know took their name from but each time you step through a door of consciousness, I feel like you level up. And 
some can just go through and then others have to work longer and go through what they need to go through. I'm not even going to go into like what that's about, except to say that we were born with karma and that succinctly is going to represent the things that you have to go through in life that you are correcting from previous lives. I mean, that's how karma works. <laughs> So, um, we come along and we're living our life and we're also sort of like passing all this old stuff and the better we deal with the passing of these, uh, karmic gallstones, the more easily they will pass through us and without the pain of it, Hopefully we'll learn from that, but each time we graduate and step through a door of consciousness, we reach places where, for instance, we're not worried about how to process all of this stuff because we're just not even worried about it. It's not even a consideration anymore. And I would love to be there now. I aspire to be at that place where... I'm not going to say that I'm triggered by stuff because I learned that at a, after a certain point, it's just not that anymore. Like you understand better what the triggering actually is and it's a reaction. And so we just graduate and we get better and better and we level up at dealing with those things. So I aspire to get to the point where... I'm not knocked crazy by events like I'm in a windstorm or something emotionally and become useless. Like, <clears throat> I think part of what my life purpose is, is to <clears throat> be able to help create st stability and help reinforce the sort of unconscious uh, part of the collective that is still, while we're conscious, really is running things. And, wow, I'm not going to even try to explain that because I need to stop talking now. <laughs> but, um, the meaning of what I just said and the answer to what I just said is all in what I have already said and if you feel there's something there that you didn't understand, but there is a word that sticks with you, try searching it because you will probably find answers you're looking for. Or you will be led that way if you're open to it. I suggest that because it's fun being open to what spirit can reveal to you just because you've decided to be open to it and you will allow the knowledge in or whatever it is. So I'm just going <clears> to... <throat> Before I go, I'm just going to see what card it throws up here because I feel like I've gotten what I wanted to say said for the most part. I'm sure I forgot a bunch of stuff in all of this sheaf of notes, but it, it just kind of, you know, it just kind of got out of control. I'm just going to read a little bit from here just to give you a flavor randomly. So... This new way of seeing what's accessible already, requiring little to no off-site, outside of myself, resources to self-soothe, it also has to do with using indifference in turn with empathy. It can hardly be missed that there's a lot going on around us and throughout the world to make us feel heartbroken. No need to catalog them all. Everyone was battered about by the senses in the years following the Obama administration. Seems like that was a catalyst for the ignition of a string of time bombs. It may feel like an ambush the way the protections of the rights for women was finally mortally wounded. Not, not down for the count, though. It's early days yet. On to its early days yet to opine on all that 
It's early days yet. That's enough. So, um, I hope that makes a little of what I said more uh, understandable. And then I'm just going to go ahead and see what card I can pick here. Oh, there we go. Judgment. Whoa, whoa, whoa. These are new. They're super slippery, and my hands are like Gumby's hands. So, the other cards, I actually looked at the uh, little booklet, and I'm not going to do that here because I want to end, but just looking at this, it's you see all of these people... It's so weird, okay? This I this, something came to mind because I looked at this and I saw these people standing up in their crypts, being awoken by the angel of judgment, and I guess they all get to get up and live because they did something right. But if you look at it, you can see there's water outside of the crypts, and that made me think of New Orleans for some reason because that's kind of their graveyards. They have these above ground crypts because the ground is so close to water but these days water has encroached so much on Louisiana that I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of the graveyards from time to time look like this not with people standing up in them although I don't know maybe ghosts still hanging around their crypts uh, stand up so they can breathe? I don't know. And, and I don't even know what that all means, except that uh, maybe when this is all said and done, the judgment is that things will flow again like normal. The people will be happy again because they'll be free to make their own decisions and go with the flow of their lives. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. It looks like a happy horn tidings. Look at that woman. She doesn't look upset. She's like, yay, you're playing my song. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's all I wanted to say, I guess. I guess the insight was, gotta find a way to like work with the empathy and the indifference. But not be uncaring as all of this stuff comes flying at us and it's a matter of practice until you get perfect enough to go through those doorways and level up and graduate your consciousness. Okay, I guess that's it. I think I pretty much uh, said what I had to say. Thank you and good night.